The United Nations Population Fund released a State of World Population Report 2016. The study looks at the lives of 10-year-old girls around the world, the challenges that they face on the path to adulthood, and what countries must do to ensure that girls get the support and investment that they need for development. 10-year-old girls are used for the study because they represent a group at a critical time of development, the adolescent age. At this time in their lives, they are at risk of sexual exploitation, trafficking, and child labor. One of the fundamental issues is gender equality. Um, and this is one of the issues that we have here in Belize as well. Even though we do not necessarily share some of the challenges as other countries, like we have high enrollment in school in general, and particularly for our girls. The report talks a lot about other countries having lower enrollment for girls, um, but that's not necessarily our case. Um, one of the things that is particularly special about this report is that it's the first time an analysis has been done to look at the relationship between supporting and investing in girls or adolescents um, and what that would mean for achieving the sustainable development goals. So if that investment is not made, we will not realize success in the sustainable development goals. There are similarities but there are big, huge differences. I think in Belize we have more opportunities for young girls than other countries, and it's just that it's not being accessed all the time, whereas a greater amount of young people. But in terms of poverty, it does affect young girls pretty much in a similar way because um, opportunities are lacking in that area where young girls are trying to make ends meet and fall short of that. What the report is basically saying though is not to wait until further down, to pay attention to the fact that these needs um, start to manifest from as early as 10. That's an age when right before a, girl's, a girl enters into puberty and she then becomes immediately at risk for being sold or traded or trafficked, right? For marriage, for childbearing, for sex, for free labor, all of these things. The UNFPA says that the investment and support of 10-year-old girls are critical for Belize to achieve the 17 Sustainable Development Goals by 2030, including reduced inequalities, no poverty, gender equality, and decent work and economic growth. If we do not invest in girls, if we do not invest in developing their human capital, we cannot confidently say that we are going to achieve those sustainable development goals. And this is why we chose the age of 10, because by the time those um, goals should have been achieved, all our 10-year-old girls would be 25. By that point in time, we would be able to see if um, certain risks have been averted, that they stayed in school, that they avoided um, adolescent pregnancy, you know that they are in the best of health, um, that they are productive members of society. So um, if this investment is not made, we cannot confidently say that we are on the path to achieving those 17 goals. And to achieve that requires intensive collaborative efforts from the services to law to policies, investment and data. One of the takeaway messages is for our decision makers and um, and leaders to take into consideration what the report is saying. Yes, it's from a global perspective, but we can zero in on that and look at the local context and, and what that means for us here in Belize in terms of um, child labor, in terms of access to education, in terms of access to health care. One of the things that UNFPA advocates for is access to sexual and reproductive health. And as you know, the age of consent in Belize is 16. Um, but a young person is legally not able to access services before the age of 18. So these are some of the gaps where we would like to have um, changes in laws um, to, to help create access as necessary, even the age of, of, of marriage. You know, these are things that we need to look at as a, as a country. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.